Hey guys, Jeremy from Retro Game Van here with another garage sale pickup video. This is the second week of 2021 and garage sales are definitely in full force today. Started off a little slow this morning. Uh, got to the first sale around quarter to eight. Uh, the sale was starting at eight and I didn't get my first pickup until quarter after nine. So it was like an hour and a half of driving around from sale to sale and just nothing. There was maybe one or two places where they said, yeah, we had some stuff, but it already sold. And so it was just kind of bad luck, but also just a lot of not the right kind of sales, not the right kind of houses. But got to the first place where there was some stuff to pick up and there was a bunch of kids, kids toys and clothes, a couple of probably 10 year old boys uh, that were there and they kind of had some stuff set on the table and there were five Xbox One controllers. Actually there were seven Xbox One controllers uh, and I asked him how much they were and he said five dollars a piece and I was asking him you know why he was selling them and did he test them all and he said he went through and tested them all and they were all working. He said there were a couple of them where the buttons were a little bit hard to press. And so I don't really know what that means. Uh, but for $5 a piece, I went through and I clicked all the buttons, went through everything, felt all the joysticks, found five, of, five out of the seven that kind of seemed normal, that felt like they were in good shape. And I thought for five bucks a piece, we could take a chance on that. Picked out the five, I said, hey, would you take 20 for these five? The mom said, yep. So I took them and I figure even if only one of the five works, I can probably still make some money off of it, sell it in the store. I mean, Xbox One controllers will go for more than 20 bucks. So that was a good deal. And if I can find a couple of them that work, may keep one for ourselves. For our own collection, I think we only have one Xbox One controller right now in our own collection. So we could use another one or two. So that would be great. Um, then drove to another place and it was a bunch of, you know, sports equipment. A uh, few, you know, boys were kind of throwing the ball around. You can tell they were just kind of hanging out while their parents were running the garage sale. So I thought this is going to be a good place uh, because normally when you got boys that are into sports, uh, a lot of times they've got video games as well. So I asked them if they had any games and they kind of said no at first and kind of, you know, went through, you know, do you have any old Game Boy, old Nintendos? And the dad said, actually, I've got a PS2 that I could probably get rid of. And I said, that'd be great. So he went and where did it go? He went and went downstairs to go look. He was gone for like five minutes. And I was just kind of wandering around looking at stuff. He comes back with uh, these two CD cases. Uh, before he left, he had said, you know, what would you want to give for it? And I said, well, really just kind of depends on what games are there. So he said, okay, let me go check out the games. So he comes back with these. Uh, and, you know, they're one of those families that wants to save space in their TV room. So they throw out the cases and just kept... You know loose discs and as I could expect a lot of the games were just sports games there's every sport imaginable and you know I also see uh, Simpsons Road Rage uh, which is probably the best PS2 game in the bundle um, and so that, that's all that was in here a bunch of sport games and Simpsons Road Rage and then he opens up this other one and he starts flipping through and there are a bunch of Wii games and I see this page it's got Wii Sports, Mario Kart, Mario Party 8. And so I asked him, well, hey, you getting rid of the Wii as well? And he said, oh, let me go ask my wife and see if we can. I was like, do you guys still play it at all? He's like, it's, you know, it's been a while since we've played it. We don't really play it that much. Uh, in the front, there was a couple empty pages. There was actually some PS4 games in there. So no, they have a PS4, they have newer consoles. So it doesn't surprise me that they might be done with the Wii. Uh, boys would probably be more excited about what's going on on a PS4. 
than the Wii. So uh, I asked him about that and he asked his wife and the wife said, yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of that. We don't really play it. And he said, you know, we've got the full rock band set with the Wii as well. And so he asked his wife, you know, would we ever, you know, get the rock band stuff out to play again with the kids? And I was like, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. So he's like, well, what would you think? Uh, would you do, you know, 150 for everything? And he kind of explained, you know, it's got uh, the rock band drums and the guitar. And I kind of, you know, go through some of the things, you know, like, does it have all the dongles? Does it have the guitar pedal? And all of those key things to ask when you're looking for rock band stuff. And he said, yep, it's all there. It's all good. It's all working. And he's like, we also have, you know, the nice big dance mats for the PS2 and all that. So how about 150 for everything? And I said, yeah, it's probably pretty close. Um, Cause I was looking at the games that were in here for the Wii and, you know, even loose, these games are gonna sell. Wii Sports is gonna sell. Wii Sports Resort is gonna sell. Mario Kart's gonna sell. Mario Party is gonna sell. And they still go for, uh, you know, good price for loose games. And thinking about you know what what a rock band set's worth if everything's there, um, so I just kind of said, hey, would you do 120? And he said, yep, that'd be great. And so that's that. So uh, normal fat PS2, one controller. The Wii had a couple of nunchucks, had an extra controller with the Motion Plus, um, and then the rock band set. Everything checked out. It actually has two PS2 guitars as well for Guitar Hero. And they have the dongles and everything's complete for those. So we got a complete rock band set with the, with the guitar, with the drums, everything in the drums is complete. And a microphone uh, was also in the bin. So complete set there. So that was awesome. And then when he comes out, he's like, I've also got, um, he's like, I found a few more other games as I was going through stuff. So another Madden game, uh, Lego rock band, uh, which is fun, but not very valuable, but then also a new Super Mario Brothers Wii, which is a great one to add as well. Um, the two cases that they did have for any other games, the Wii Fit Plus and SingStar Rocks. So uh, that was that. Uh, move on to another sale. I was going down and then I saw a sign on a car pointing down into a neighborhood that said cul-de-sac sale and it wasn't listed on the grudge sale listings. It was just kind of a pop-up sale, but it was a whole cul-de-sac. There was probably three or four sales going on. So I stopped pulling there, go check it out. Um, nothing at two of the three houses that were doing sales. Uh, but one house, they had this small box with a Wii, it says $100 on it. And so I'm kind of just going through, looking at stuff, kind of figuring it out. You know, there's a blue, blue Wii Motion Plus controller. There's a couple classes controllers. Um, there's another third party Wiimotes um, that's not worth anything. And then they as well just have loose games. Uh, but a couple good ones in there. Uh, there was Just Dance 3 and Bow Hunter, uh, but there was also Mario Party 9 and Wii Sports. So Mario Party 9 itself is 45 bucks loose right now. And then Wii Sports. So. He had a hundred bucks on there. I just asked him, hey, are you firm on the hundred dollars? And he's like, nope, I'm actually pretty squishy on that. And so I said, how squishy is that? And he's like, as squishy as can be. And I was like, well, would you consider like 50 or 60? And he said, yep, I can do 60. And so I said, great. Um, so Venmo him some money. Uh, I figured that even at 60, you know, that's still a double up at least with the classic controllers, the extra Wiimote with the Motion Plus and Mario Party 9. Um, so still gonna do pretty well on that. Um, and then went to the other cell I was headed to. And you know, it's kind of another one of those little kid sales. Um, probably, you know, a lot of kids toys, baby clothes, a lot of the baby stuff. The kids are just old enough now that the parents are getting rid of the baby stuff. And so that was what it was. I, a lot of what was at the sale was a lot of baby stuff and little kid toys. Uh, saw the dad there. He was sitting behind the snack counter. Um, you know, it's becoming a big thing here in Utah. A lot of the garage sales, kids will be selling 
you know, bags of Lay potato chips, little candies, uh, Otter Pops, sodas, waters, that kind of thing. Um, and when the kids are cute and they're asking me if I want anything, then I try to be supportive and, you know, buy a drink or buy a snack from them as well. But this time it was the dad behind the snack bar and he was just kind of running it. He was kind of looking bored. So I go up and I talk to him and I say, hey, do you have any old video games? And he's like, oh, actually I do. I didn't even think about bringing those out. He's like, yeah, I've got some PS4 games. And I'm thinking, okay, well, PS4, PS4s are kind of hard um, when you see them at the garage sales because people have bought those games fairly recently, paid full price for them, but those prices are dramatically dropping. And so a lot of the PS4 games aren't really worth a ton unless it's you know something that came out in just like the last year or two. And so a lot of the library, especially you know, the, the Call of Duties and the sports games, you know, they're just going to be a few dollars even to sell in the store. Um, and so I said, well, yeah, that's, that's cool. I'd be interested in looking at it. And he's like, yeah, and I also have some Sega Genesis games. And I was like, great. Uh, would you want to sell those as well? And he's like, yeah, let me go grab them. I didn't even think about pulling out video games. That's a great idea. And so he goes and comes back and I see him walking out of the garage with this stack and I see a couple N64 games on top. And so it got me even more excited. Um, and so he shows me what he has, you know, a copy of GoldenEye, a copy of N uh, WCW NWO Revenge. And so, you know, I was pretty excited because this is like, this is my college dorm room experience. I mean, how many times did we stay up until like three or four in the morning playing GoldenEye or wrestling games on the N64? So super nostalgic for me, always fun to see. Uh, Revenge isn't worth a ton, uh, but GoldenEye is always a, a good seller. It's always a good one to have around just because of the nostalgia factor. Um, PS4 games that he had, he had Battlefield 1, Call of Duty, World War II. Again, not too much, but uh, CTR, Nitro Fueled, uh, Great game, still going for a decent amount. So that's great. And then the two Genesis games that he pulled out, Taz Escape from Mars and King Salmon. So nothing too exciting in their boxes. Uh, they're still only worth eight or nine bucks. But uh, for the right price, that could be okay. He said he already got rid of his N64 and all the games. He just happened to have these two that were just lying around. He found them the other day and it was like, Oh shoot, I don't even have that anymore. What am I gonna do with these? And then the Genesis games, he said they still have a Genesis. They have an original model Genesis and they've got the, you know, the Sonic games that the kids still like to play. So he's keeping those around. Uh, but these are the two that they weren't interested in. So I said, well, how much would you be looking at? What about on the PS4 games? Uh, what would you want to sell them for? He said a couple bucks a piece. And I was thinking, yeah, that's great. Uh, a couple bucks is fine. So I said, well, how about 15 for all seven games? And he said, yeah, that seems fair. Um, so, and then he started looking up stuff on his phone. And so I gave him the 15 bucks and told him, thank you very much. And that was that. Then, then I went to this sale and you know, I pull up to this house and I was thinking, yeah, I've been to this house before. They actually had stuff. They were in the process of moving and selling some property and coming up from another part of the state. And so they had a bunch of stuff in storage last year. And I remember sitting at this sale and talking with this lady for like half an hour while she sent her husband over to the storage unit down the road to try to find their stuff. She said they had a Super Nintendo and an N64 and a bunch of other systems and games. And so I was super excited and the husband couldn't find them and he's like it's been taking too long i don't want to make him sit around anymore and so you know he called back to his wife and said you know i couldn't find him and so she took my number down took my name and number and then i never heard from her again and i actually lost their address i was going to stop by again because she said they were going to have another sale in a few weeks after that last year and so I thought, well, maybe I'll just kind of drive by each week and just see if they're having the sale again and see if they found that stuff. Um, but I forgot where their house was. And so I could not, for the life of me, figure out where it was. And then when we pulled up today, I saw the house and I was like, this is it. I wonder if they have the stuff. And so I go up and I was like, hey, do you guys have any old video games? And she's like, well, I've got my PS2 with Guitar Hero. 
And I remember, you know, that kind of jogged my memory that I remember her talking about that. She's like, that's the thing I cannot sell. I can sell you the Super Nintendo. I can sell you the N64, but I will not sell you my guitar here with PS2 because it is, you know, all the memories playing with my kids, playing with my siblings, we would just all hook up our PS2s and guitar here and we would just rock out together. And so this year she said she would sell it. And so she pulled it out and it was just the Guitar Hero set, but you can tell it was beloved uh, because she kept it in the box. It's all nice in there, both guitars, everything's there, the game's in there. Everything looks like mint condition. You know, the box is a little bit buffed up because it's been moved around a bunch, but everything inside is in great condition. And so you can tell that she definitely loved it. And she pulls out her PS2. It's got all the chords, but it has no controller because all she did on it was play Guitar Hero. And so you don't need a normal controller for that. Um, so I asked her how much she would want for it and she said $75 and I was thinking that's probably fine. I can probably still uh, double the money with what's here. Uh, Guitar Hero is going to sell pretty well, especially in that condi condition. And then the PS2, I should have a couple extra controllers around that I can pair with it and sell that as well. So that's exciting. Um, and then, you know, I was asking her because she remembered me. So she said, yeah, and I remember you were asking about the game stuff last year. And so we got to talking more and I was like, well, hey, did you ever find that Super Nintendo, the N64 and everything? And she says, okay, his son took the Super Nintendo. My son took the N64. We had an Xbox, but that went to another one of the kids. And so I guess they did end up finding it in the storage unit and they pulled it out and then their kids ended up taking it and taking it to their homes, which is fine. Uh, but then the husband was like, hey, I've actually got my old Game Boy. I think I found it the other day. Let me go see if I can find it again. So he pulled out pulled out an original Game Boy and you know it looks complete. It sounds good and it's got the battery cover on it. Uh, the screen isn't too scratched, it's got a little few scratches, but not too bad. It's just super dirty. And so I asked him if everything worked on it, asked him if it's got, you know, any of the lines on it. And he said, no, everything was working great the last time I used it. And so I said, would you want to part with that as well? And he said, yeah. And then the wife says, you know, why don't you just let him take it home and test it out himself and see if everything's working because he couldn't find the games. He said he had a stash of games with it because um, he had a Game Boy case that it was in and none of the games were in there. So he said, you know, I'm gonna keep trying to find the case with the games. And so I wanted to, I didn't wanna necessarily leave it there since I didn't have any luck getting, uh, getting from them last time. But I uh, just said, hey, what would you want for that now? And the wife just said, go ahead and take it, let him take it and he can test it out and then we can talk about it. So I, since I paid her through Venmo, you know, I can send her a little bit more money. I tested it out, everything was great. No lines, everything's perfect on it. It's just super dirty, so we're gonna just clean it up. Uh, but it should be good to go. And I'm hoping that they'll call me back when they find the games. Uh, she still has my phone number. She wrote down my name and number and she has it on a piece of paper in her cash box. I guess it's the same cash box she used last year and it still has my name and number on it. So hopefully she'll call me back. That would be awesome if she did. Um, here's the PS2 Slim, still also in great condition, a little bit dusty, but no dings, no real wear. I mean, the bottom looks great. You can see everything looks perfect on it. She really did love this thing. And so we'll try to make sure that we find a great home for it as well. Someone else that's going to love it and take care of it. And then, uh, last sale to talk about, uh, stopped at this estate sale. And normally I don't mark estate sales. Uh, in Utah, estate sales usually mean um, someone's great grandma passed away and they're selling off all her stuff. And so it's just a lot of old furniture and china and other dishes and random things. And a lot of times when you go to those sales and you're like, hey, just look, wondering if they had any old video games. 
they come out with a box of VHS tapes. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have that same experience. Uh, when they say videos and it's people from that generation, it's VHS tapes, it's video movies. Um, but this one, I show up and it's not necessarily like a classic estate sale like we have most of the time here in Utah. And I don't even know why I marked it on my list to go visit it because I normally just skip over estate sales, but I happen to put this one on in my maps and put it on my route. And so I go up and it's like, there's this house and there's this huge uh, work workspace, uh, like shed, uh, kind of hard to explain, but you know, it looks like they did a lot of um, car auto body work. Um, so they just had a bunch of random stuff. They had a whole huge area of tools, uh, but there was a couple tables with some electronics on it. So I start going through the electronics table and I see a PS2 AV cable. And so I think, okay, great. There's gonna be video games around somewhere. So I start looking around and there's really nothing else. There's a PS2 style controller, USB controller. So not a real PlayStation 2 controller, but that's basically it. Uh, but I'm thinking, you know, for an estate sale, it's not bad. I can always use an extra PS2 cable. It's never bad to have extra cables around. So if I can get it for, you know, a quarter, 50 cents or whatever, that would be awesome. And so I go up and I'm trying to figure out which person to ask because it's the kids are kind of helping out with the parents and the parents aren't super old, uh, but I guess they're retiring, they're selling their property and they're moving out, moving somewhere else. And so the kids were there the kids were probably my age, a little bit younger. <coughs> so they were helping out. So there was a few different kids, a um, few different daughters, especially that were kind of helping out. And so I was trying to figure out who to ask. And so there was one of the daughters that was just kind of standing around. So I asked her, you know, do you guys have any other video game stuff? You know, old PlayStation or Nintendo stuff? <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, she says, actually, uh, I've got some GameCube games inside. And I'm thinking, nice, that is awesome. And so she comes out and she's got this trash bag. And I see her walking out with this and I see some stuff down inside. And I'm thinking, that's awesome. I wonder what's in there. And so I start going through it. And the first thing that I see on top is Paper Mario. And that's exactly what you want to see when you see a stack of GameCube games. So I'm thinking, great, there's close to 100 bucks. And I'm going back, going through, and I'll just kind of show you what else is in here. Uh, there's WrestleMania, uh, Super Mario Strikers, which is another great one. Uh, Barnyard, which actually surprised me. I was thinking it was going to be like a $5 game, but it's like $20 complete. Uh, Lego Star Wars, also another quick seller. And then, you know, Ant Bully, a couple other kid games that aren't necessarily fantastic. Uh, Day of Reckoning 2, uh, which is another good game. It says Day of Reckoning 2, and it is a little bit more valuable than the first one. Um, and then I come across this, uh, Gale of Darkness, which is fantastic. The last time we had a copy of this was probably in January. I think we sold it for about a hundred bucks. I think at the time it was going for, you know, price charting had it at like 110. Uh, we try to sell things for a little bit lower than the average price charting. And so I was thinking, great, there's another hundred dollars. So I've got you know, at least a couple hundred dollars in games. I'm looking through, it's got the Mario sports game. So it's at least a few hundred dollars. So I'm thinking if I can just get this for anything under, you know, a hundred dollars, I'd be super excited. Um, I did not realize that this has doubled in price in the last couple months. Um, so that was also very exciting. Um, just show you what else is in here. Superstar baseball, which is another good one. Happy feet. Uh, Naruto Clash of Ninja 2 and UFC Throwdown. So I went through and I counted the games and I said, okay, there's 12 games. And I was also just kind of thinking um, if, you know, if 
they're one of those people that wanted to say, how many games are there? What's the price per game? I was thinking, you know, what would be the most price I would want to pay per game? $5, maybe $10, probably still be okay. And so I just go up and I ask her, well, hey, what would you, what would you want it for the whole bag? And she said, well, if you want it all, uh, how about $10 for the whole bag? And I was thinking, uh, awesome. And I was, so at that point I was like, well, I've also got this cable. Do you mind just throwing that in as well? And she said, yep, that's great. She's like, the games weren't even mine. And so I don't even know what we're doing, but we're just, you know, getting rid of stuff. And so I'll quickly pull out a $10 bill, hand it to her. And I said, thank you very much. I really appreciate you going to grab those. So I feel really blessed, really lucky to be in a good stack like that. Uh, that's always good to have you know the paper mario the pokemon mario sports games are always great to have around and so that ended up really making the day and that was kind of what we had today so not too many pickups we got stuff at six out of maybe 20 25 sales so that's like a one in four ish quarter of the time got a pickup so not too bad uh, not the best, but not terrible either, but the quality, quality was good, and a couple surprises, so that was awesome. So, hope you guys are having good luck as well, hope you're enjoying your retro collections, and we'll catch you next time.